Hello everybody, this is Manuel Samuel. Samuel Manuel? Manuel Samuel. Manuel Samuel is a game about Samuel, and he's Manuel. You'll see that. I'm actually going to do something that I will not do usually. I will not explain shit. This game will do it for me. And this is a good narrator. We're not doing that. So I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> I'm over it, I mean. Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam <coughs> is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. Well, well, okay. Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon Ooh. that represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his parents. And their butlers. <laughs> and their butler's parents. That's a lot of You're butlers. A douche, aren't you, Sam? Blink twice if yes. <laughs> he can't hear me. This is Sam's girlfriend, also not being heard by Sam. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility. Produced by his large wealth. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. <laughs> Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. And end up with a limp spine then, or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. She's going to throw that broccoli. Oh. No, she's just going to hit me. Fractured jabo. Now that's actually kinda nice. How does a rich and sport brat get a fracture? Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. Yes. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Let's see. Okay, I can press. Ah, oh, perfect. It's not that hard. Effort to stand up straight. Nice. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, that's nice. A right okay, step. a right step. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this control scheme? Good job, Sam. You're very good at existing. <laughs> Alright, so how does a rich brat get um, a girlfriend anyway? A girlfriend like that? Dare you startle my child? An overprotective mother hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold. Sam remembers the one thing he's good at: paying for stuff. How paying for stuff. Around to pay for his beverage. Oh, oh yeah, right. Of course, when I get a coffee, I have to drink um, pay something. So here's the thing: I, I, I was told this game is about as funny as it can get. So, I was thinking I should let's play this, right? And, um, I watched the trailer. Thanks for the tip, douchebag. Sam decides to hurl another 500. Well, uh, and, and basically. And basically, um. <laughs> shit, what am I doing? He has no perception of money. Okay, so I decided to let's play it because people said it's funny. He really was hit hard in the head. Holy feces! I'll just start my own coffee shop. Well, <laughs> once again, Sam makes someone quit their job by tipping them too much. Well, nice. Oh, he's in the background. See, look. I wonder if he's getting like dri driven over. No, I decided to let's play this because it looked funny. It sounds stupid, but now he's not driven over. Ah. Oh. A decade making his way out the door, which is pretty good for a guy with a major concussion. As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Well, still girlfriend. himself together and uh, rushes yes. towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. But uh, it's, uh, it looked funny, so I decided I could just play it. That's fun. septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 Pieces happen. The impact renders him eight types of death. Eight types of death? That's nice. Pieces happen. Oh, you want to say shit happens. All right, that makes sense. And the uh, little bill point was thesis. F3, C3, 5, thesis. Elite speak. And this guy just vomited. Well, that is kind of your fault for driving 90 miles an hour inside the city, dude. To be honest, let's let's give it down. Like, it's not really our fault. <laughs> 
so I don't, uh, I, I do have a clue as to why this is called manual Samuel, it's because I have to play, er, uh, make everything manual, like walk and blink, and uh, th that's all I know, I've only watched the trailer, really. Um, Perfectly Paranormal presents, oh, that's the developer, right? A manual Samuel, no, I wanted to play this because I was like, oh, let's, let's play a game, I don't know which one, let's do a funny game, a game that will probably piss me off at one point, which one? And then I stumbled across this. I knew I've seen like 20 minutes of this, like till around about now plus five uh, on, on I think Markiplier. And um, then I found this in the Steam store, I was like, yeah, that'll do. I mean, it's a little bit old by now, but that'll do. I mean, sure. There's other games that I want to let's play, but I need to get a little bit of the mentor of it because I haven't done it in a while. And I actually need to finish something. Like, I'm actually playing a lot of Tyranny right now, but Tyranny is like... I don't know how long it is, so I didn't let's play it at all or plan to do it, because if it's like 100 hours long, I might never finish it. That, that'll be sad. Besides, who the hell wants 120 parts of Let's Play on my YouTube channel? It's half my videos. Oh, you have met a terrible felt, haven't you? Oh. There's also the ground. In hell. Why hell, though? Like, what have I done wrong except for having too much money? I accept the... I, ma I made people quit their job because I tipped them too much. I can't be that bad guy. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Bus for boats. He finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. He checks out that horrible sound he's hearing. Not the horrible sound of the screaming souls around him. The other horribly irritating sound. The other horrible irritating sound. All right, I buy it. Which one is it? Is none other than obliteration and oblivion. Ah. Extermination and extinction. The end. Decease and demise. The grim reaper. The grim reaper. Death. Death. He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. Really? In his coarse, horrifying <laughs> voice, he lays this on town. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the info I was provided. What? Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. Holy feces, dude! Your soul be like a diamond! Why don't you just say holy shit? A deal that we can seal. For reals? Aight, man. It decided. The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. A shred of life, just a bit. Soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency. Oh, really? By quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. <laughs> Fuck life. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Why is the least condition called Fuck Life? Four hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Oh, that's supposed to be a bad Sam handicap. Decides to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. All right, sure. Let's decide to wander around in hell. Oh my God! Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. Oh my you God! Be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job <laughs> oh, and become no. functioning souls of society. <laughs> no, 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 no. For most people, this is okay, but for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Oh, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a minesweeper. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Could be worse. Whatever. Oh, I wonder what jobs they get. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. I... You get to be okay. A struggling freelance artist. Oh, my. And that'll be all your... A struggling freelance artist. Oh, this is truly hell. Oh, they are not going to give those three people Sam jobs. Has seen he goes I wanted to see if they would give me, like, he keeps something. The last shred for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell. 
Oh, I just gave him like five shreds instead of one. I bro. I only get to do these deals annually. But if you really want to live in biz, you have to do it manually. Oh wow, that was so bad. I will stop speaking in rhymes. Where's my face cam? I don't actually know this. Let's check. Oh, that is incredibly well, I guess that's fine. Let's do this. Alright then. He would stop speaking in rhymes now. Mm. Alright, now I'm back live. But I have to do it manually. Let me guess. I have to live manually. I have been doing this. I have taken left and right steps and uh, have blinked before. That will throw it at me, bro. Sam What's gonna happen? Just traveled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. Yay! Richness His achieved. Is only dim the fact that he can't move at all. Oh, this that is when he shows up. Death. My face yo, is a little yo, bit blue. Yeah, you look horror. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you hear me? Um, blink twice if yes. Oh, cool. You be alive. <laughs> the face is getting bluer. All right, so this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual. So Can you stop talking like an idiot? On purpose. Um, you'll be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. Okay, I have to breathe too, really. Alright! Bitchin! You'll be blinking and breathing. That'd be bitchin! So, all right. Go That's going to be so. And I'll let you <sighs> you for the rest of your life. Uh, something tells me that this will uh, somehow sounds incredibly, incredibly annoying. To be honest, I cannot imagine this to be kind of fun <laughs> later. To get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. On my spine. And once again. He has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude, you be getting late for work. Sam what what work? It resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Sam tries out a strange maneuver by stepping with the same leg twice. <laughs> okay, I see. I can step with the same leg twice. Skateboard. I guess this is going to be fun. This looks like Quop. Does anybody remember that game? To that toothbrush like his life depends on it. Um, I should have kept holding it, right? Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of water. <laughs> he has to cough. <laughs> then he lets go. How sad. Okay, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Let's not brush our tears while breathing out. Alright, we did it. We did it, Reddit. Sam is ready to smile. He won't for at least 24 hours, though. He has to use his opposite leg to get up again. What's next? Shower with your dad? No, just shower. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks like a mantis that's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. Sam is... What does it, what does it have to do with a Norwegian teenager at a wedding? I don't get it. This job is a little bit... This, this joke is a little bit uh, un-understandable. Can somebody explain to me why a Norwegian teenager on a wedding is supposed to be something bad? Or You're can't see? No one, Sam. Gonna do a kick flip now. Why are you doing kickflips in my house? Uh, aren't you the fucking Grim Reaper? Don't you have better things to do, like... Not doing kick flips. If I would be in this situation, I would just lay on the like um, what, and that's about uh, it. Sam almost leaves without taking a leap. Oh yeah. Then his bladder tells him to snap out of it and go back to the bathroom. Let's breathe in. Let's breathe out. All right, blink, here we go. Sam, blink. Yeah. 
We can do it. Let's do it. Uh, that's the toilet, right? Yes, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Alright. Oh, that's going to be fun. Hey, dude, have you seen my... Oh. Uh... I wanted to piss on the devil, but he gone. Sam takes a leak on the floor. Nice. Sam takes a leak everywhere, including but not limited to himself. Damn, son. Sam has to shower again. It's one of the top three most embarrassing moments of Sam's life. Top three? Wow, you haven't done shit if that's embarrassing to you. Sam is clean as a whistle. Good job, Sam. Okay, so where can I dress the fuck up? Guess it's time. Oh, damn, son. Okay, that was wrong. No, no. Just move your fucking legs, dude. Ah! Clean and empty. Sam decides to find some clues. Okay, let's breathe in. Breathe out. Alright, let's... Oh, that was fun. Let's continue this fucking horrible trip. Ah, this is tedious. <laughs> Where are my clothes? Yeah. Probably in the locker room with the money on. Sam can open doors now. Clever boy. What is That's a sword. There, Sam? I don't know what's over there. That's why I wanted to find it out. <laughs> no, I saw there's like Frostmoon or something. Yeah, World of Warcraft Blink, references. Sam, everywhere. Blink. Well, this guy is full of himself. Look at the big... Why is there a horse? I don't get it. Sam enters his wardrobe. What will he wear today? Uh, the first thing that actually go just goes on. He picks a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. Sam successfully puts on his pants. Feeling more accomplished than ever, he proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do. Blink, Sam, blink! Okay. No, that's not right. Okay, let's try again. Fully clothed yes! Sam Wait, I don't have shoes today. or socks on. I'm not fully clothed. Yes, he's not. No, I'm definitely very unready for this day, and trust me, like, holy shit, this is- Ah! I wish they had, like, some kind of help- Oh, I forgot my shoes. I, I wish they would have some kind of help to tell me what leg I'm supposed to use next. He puts on his shoes. Yes! Dream of having shoes on. Oh, I didn't want to go in there again. Do I get like extra oak? Sam walks down the stairs with great precision. I actually walk down the stairs without falling down them. That's interesting. I thought I'm going to fall down. Because to be quite honest, I would in real life and then I would die horribly. Flappy Rooster is Sam's favorite game. He has no time for playing with a flappy rooster right now though. I am not even- that's a sexual reference, in case you haven't noticed it. A fla he has no time to play with a flappy rooster right now, huh? Hello, Dev. Following the story at this time, oh, God. The gang wars are still an escalating problem at Can I kill myself? Where the police are struggling to regain control. Commuters are advised to- Hey, Lucy, I'm home. Oh, hey, dude. Still alive, huh? Yeah. You know what? Before we leave this home, I'm just gonna press the. Wait. There's, There's pizza. Saying, Sent over a maid to make you breakfast. Don't breathe in while chewing. Oh God. Ah. Uh, well, thanks for telling me. Blink, Sam. Blink. Mm. Despite his mother's warnings, Sam breathes in. Disgusting, but necessary. I ate some fucking food, whatever. Let's not eat any more food. I just vomited all of it out again. 
I don't even think that Samuel wants to eat vomited foods How in his crit condition. Let's try to go outside. Oh, wait, what is this? Gosh darn good coffee. Well, that sounds like coffee. Sam decides to try his luck on some coffee drinking. Sam's coffee is so hot, he blows on it before taking a sip. With some coffee in his system, Sam finds it easier to exist. Well, I find it easier to exist with coffee. Who would have thought? He finally makes it out the front door. Beaten. Terrified. Stupid. Stu how, how does one pause this game? Let's wonder because I wanted to end the first part. You guys understand that I can't do parts forever. Like, alright, so let's end the first part after, this, um, after getting out of the house. This is Manuel Samuel for all of you, 20 minutes in, and we are looking to breathe, eat, and swallow manually as well as walking like a cr cripple with a backbone that does not do as we want him to. My name is Malafta, I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. And sorry if I never really talked about over the narrator, but the narrator is actually good. I, I hear him right there. Uh, there. This direction. And it's pretty nice. Uh, the, 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 the narrator. See you next time.